Hey guys, my name is Chase. Welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be showing you how to make your very own clicker game. But first, before we get into that, I just want to say that I have made my own clicker game. It is called Clicking Legends and it is on the screen right here. This game, I'm going to leave a link down in the description and in the pinned comment. Uh, go play it, I spent over two months trying to make this for you guys. And yeah, I really hope you enjoy it. Right, so, without further ado, let's get on with the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do, is you're going to want to add a script into server script service. Rename this to stats. And you're going to want to say game.players dot player added colon connect function brackets and you want to say PLR and then you want to click enter no enter and an end should appear so basically what this does is um, it waits for a player to be added and it connects it and makes a function called PLR so now we're gonna say local stats equals to instance dot new instance dot new and you want to say folder outside the speech marks comma PLR now what this does is um it creates a folder inside of the player and it parents it to the player right here as you can see in our function we pet we are parenting it to the player so this just creates a new instance and the instance is going to be a folder and we've called the instance stats so now we're going to want to say stats.name so this is the name of your folder and we're going to say stats just like that so that's the name of your folder right there so if we say local clicks equals to instance dot new and you want to say int value now what this does is it creates a new int integer value inside a folder called uh, clicks basically so you're going to say clicks dot name equals to clicks and you're going to say clicks dot parent is equal to stats just like that just like that and now you're going to want to say clicks dot value is by default set to zero so just like that so basically what this does is it sets the name to clicks uh, it parents it to stats which is the folder that we made and it sets the value of clicks to zero so you can change this value to if you want to start off with it so if we just click play uh, we can see if this works so we've got no errors and then so if we go into the current client good players good at man see we have got a folder called stats and we've got a integer value called clicks and it's by default set to zero so if we go back into client and we go into this and we say 20 we stop the game uh, we can set it to 20 and then we can play again you can see that the value is now set to 20 just like that so that just sets the value for everything you know it's nothing bad so now what you're going to want to do is you want to come off that and you're going to close off close uh, server script service and you're going to go, go into starter GUI just over here and you're going to want to insert a screen UI screen GUI uh, rename this to click GUI and then in there you're going to add a text button uh, you can rename this text button to click you're going to set the size to let's say 0 0.1 comma 0 comma 0 0.1 comma 0 just like that uh, we can move it so we can put it in the center and we can scale it so we can match it 162 just like that um, so just customize your button to whatever you look like so I'm going to customize it real quickly okay so I've made my button uh, it's called click just like that and you can click it 
Uh, it currently doesn't do anything. Um, so what you're going to want to do is in workspace add a folder call the folder scripts in scripts add in a script rename the script to add click server now in that you're going to add a remote event and call this remote event add click so in server you're going to want to say so in your script you're going to want to say script dot add click so we're going to get the uh, add click remote event that we made or rename this to whatever you called your remote event so we script dot add click uh, dot on server event so this gets us uh, when this uh, remote event is fired uh, basically it will receive the uh, that it's been fired it will receive the connection so we can go ahead and say connect function and yet again we can say PLR just like that and so this just connects it being fired um, so you can say local clicks equals to PLR dot stats to so call this whatever you called your leader stats I called it stats dot clicks just like that and then you go down two lines and say clicks clicks dot value is equal to clicks dot value plus one just like that so basically what this does is we make a variable here for clicks uh, so we find it in the player in the stats folder and it's that clicks uh, int value that we created so here we're getting the value of clicks which we've set by default to nil or zero um, so clicks dot value and then we say clicks dot value equals clicks dot value plus one so basically what we're gonna say is when we click that button we are going to add one click onto our stats okay so now in uh, go back down to your click button so you can just right click on here and just click on that just like that insert a local script in here and call it add clicks just like that made a spelling mistake just like that so delete what's inside and you're gonna say script dot parent dot mouse button when click colon connect function just like that and then click enter so basically what this does is it finds the script which is this script dot parent so it gets um, the parent so this scripts parent is click and then we get in the mouse button one click so basically when we click that button uh, that's what we get in there and we are connecting it and we are creating a function so then we're gonna say game dot work dot workspace dot scripts dot add ser a click server dot add click colon fire server just like that we are just going to test out just like this so we can check the uh, bottom for any errors so we can actually uh, go here we can have a look uh, go into stats and here so it's at 20 so we click one and it goes up by one can you see that click again and it goes up by another one so we can click just like that we've got 100 clicks like it's fantastic it works so yeah thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe it helps so much you have no idea and uh yeah don't forget to play my game um i worked really hard on it and i really hope you would play it thank you so much have a great day